All right, so this is F1 Circus 91. This is an example of a game that actually utilizes the backup booster. Let's go ahead and press yes. Why not? Know. Let's save our game. And Those Ferrari. are pretty good. I can't, pictures. I can't make out what that one is. Sadly, that was most of the data on the card was those wow. pictures. Wow! I hope the game looks like this. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Press Circus one button. 91, 91, 91. I have to say, the load up for this screen is really hard to read with all the Japanese text on it. It is really difficult. Let's do free attack. Okay. Because I've done World Championship before and I cannot comprehend its madness. <laughs> 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 okay, so they have a lot of different teams that I can choose, like uh, Minardi is Minarbi, uh, Ligier is actually properly done, Blabum <laughs> instead of Brabum, uh, uh, Lotus. Do you think they just don't have the run. license or? Footwork. <laughs> <laughs> Joden Grand Prix. Uh, Darala instead of Dallara, even though it's a Scuderia <laughs> Italia, it's Scuderia, and they have Williams <laughs> instead of the uh, Frank Williams Formula One team. They also have Tyler Ur. instead of Tyrell. <laughs> Tony, and I Benetton think Benetton instead of Benetton. Uh, Tony, I do not think licensing is the issue. <laughs> let, let, well, it's let, possible they didn't have. Slow. It's possible they didn't Since have the license. All wrong. I think Tony's right. I, it's possible they didn't have the license. So that's why they decided to swap all the L's for R's. Uh, I don't know. They could have been being tricky. It's possible that it's English. It's possible they didn't have the license. It's possible it's both. Who knows? I think I'm going to be Williams because they were actually decent during Williams. this time. Williams. Just like Gran Turismo, this game is completely and utterly dominated by settings. <laughs> I am terrible at this, so I'm going to go with heavy steering, uh, suspension. I guess I'm going to... Oh, no. We got to go hard. We're hard for games. Brakes, auto stop. <laughs> Gear, super low. I don't want to go too fast. Oh, yeah, oh my God. <laughs> the steering is... Still not heavy enough. Oh my god, the Nürburgring. By the way, they didn't race the Nürburgring in 91, to my knowledge. They were like, by the way, people will fucking die if we do that. <laughs> we're talking <Just> like <laughs> you did. Whenever I think top-down racing, I think like NES mm -hmm. era, though. Yeah. It'd be nice if they gave me a bit more view of what's in front of me, especially if they want me to drive so damn fast. Oh, that was kind of cool. They had like the sparks. For... Oh, <laughs> they're telling you where the road's going. There's little arrows pointing. Yeah, but the this is the most twitchy steering I've ever dealt with. Wait, it's still practice. You're also on the Nurburgring. Oh yeah, let's do Monza. Uh, so this is 50 yen. On. How much exactly is that? Is that in American? Uh, less than 50 cents. Less, <laughs> less than 50 cents. So I got all these PC Engine games at Retro Taku, the place that we had toured in a previous video. And this particular one was like a dollar ninety-five. It was just a random game, and it looks like it was even less <laughs> in Japan itself. So obviously not a very popular game, uh, but a game. It it is a game. It is a game. In Japan, they will accept fingernail filings for this game. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Just like a real F1 car, you're guided by smashing into the walls. <laughs> so F1 Circus 91, what do we think about this game here before we move on? What do you think? It's worth 50 yen. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of a throwaway sort of game, like I mentioned. I could see someone who's into F1 racing be, being kind of interested in the different options and such. Me, it... Not so much. I don't really care for it. I'd give it like a four out of ten. Uh, but what do you guys think? It would be worth the fingernail filing. Yeah, definitely. You didn't it's, want them. It's kind of horribly twitchy and doesn't really deliver what I was hoping for. And like yeah. those opening shots, and especially the title screen, where it shows sort of almost like a mode seven. Yeah, it makes sort it seem of look. so much cooler. I was like, oh shit, this is gonna be good. And then it like yeah. showed Ferrari and McLaren and stuff like that, which we're all doing well at the time, and you don't get to play as any of them. Yeah, just not our type of game, I don't think. No. So let's move on to Fantasy Zone. So this is Fantasy Zone, it's an arcade port, and apparently, uh, of all the different ports of this game for the uh, NES, and Famicom Disk System, and Master System, and so on and so forth, apparently this is the most true to the arcade. Hmm. Yeah. And I have to say, the colors in it are just simply so sugary, I have cavities already. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. 
Mmm, tooth decay. So, the PC Engine is really known for its shmups. Actually, there's lots of amazing shmup great job on the PC Engine. So I figured we had to at least show one. Although this is kind of your kind of non-traditional shmup, to be honest with you. You can scroll back and forth on the screen. You collect money uh, or coins in this to get power-ups. And you have to defeat a certain number of enemy bases before you can beat the boss. There we are. Get the... Uh, laser beam. How can you ever afford the rocket engine? Get the wing. So like I mentioned before, you kind of, you purchase your upgrades in this, but they're time-based. As soon as you die, or if you run out of time, they'll go away. <laughs> what do you guys think about the music? Uh, it's, it's quite saccharine. What does that mean? Sugary. 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> I know what that means. <laughs> I find it slightly Whoa. less awesome Holy Kirby shit. music. <laughs> yeah, slightly less awesome Kirby this music. This is like if Kirby was a schmuck. Oh my god, ah. you got killed by watermelons. One thing about this particular version of the game is that a lot of the other versions, like on the Master System and the NES, uh, don't have a background for this particular boss. Well, you can walk on the ground. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they don't have a background for the boss. Oh, get all those coins! I'm rich, bitch! That's right. Oh, night. Oh, almost got all of them. Top of boss. Yeah, you have, have the shop. Yeah. Oh my god, you've got so much. Not until you drop, man. They're very nice, big, <laughs> colorful sprites. Like, very interesting take on a shmup. You know, almost kind of like a shmup combined with an RPG, you know what I mean? The engine is supposed to be an upgrade, but it, I feel like it's just making me more likely to run into something that will kill me. <laughs> yeah. Fantasy Zone, what do, you, what do you guys think about this game? How would you rate it and why? I'm thinking a 7. It's pretty cool mm -hmm. that you can go both ways, you get mm -hmm. to buy your upgrades, but it can be a little bit unforgiving, especially if you spend a lot of time near the edges and yes, things just sort of definitely. pop into your butt. I, I would definitely say that this game swings it both ways, for sure. And, and 7 is exactly what I would give it. Uh, I, it's not my favorite shmup, and, but it does need to be applauded for trying something new. Yeah, I thought it was really fun. I thought it was really dynamic for a shmup, and I, you know, I just liked it. It was fun. Mm -hmm. It was quick, engaging entertainment. I thought it was pretty good. Hit the ice. Japan knows hockey. VH, the Video Hockey League. Hey, yo, hockey this league. is impossible to understand all these damned Japanese characters. Oh yeah, definitely, going. definitely. Uh oh, mortal enemy. <laughs> the Reds versus the Blues. Look at that sweet Mr. T haircut. That's awesome. Yeah, you got Bad Attitude Baracus there. I like how it looks like there are names underneath. But there aren't. <laughs> Those are not characters. This guy is clearly the best <laughs> Look at that. that face. What? What is that? What? That's not who I picked. Are you ran out of time. Red versus blue. Better dead than red. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> what is that? That thing? guy has, the rep has Rick. Go, go, go Mr. T. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's Detroit style right there. Just punch that motherfucker in the face. <laughs> this is kind of like NBA Jam, but hockey. Yeah. It's more like NBA Shank a bitch. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, boo. No way. The, you lost your chance, you did, but The ref away. looks really surprised by that. <laughs> He's like, whoa, hockey. Punch him, good oh, man. Kicked him in the balls. Kicked him in the balls with hockey skates on. Nice goal. Fight, oh, fight, oh, fight, oh, fight, oh, fight, 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 yes. fight, fight, yes. fight, fight, fight. I don't fight. know how this works. Yeah. Press everything. Yeah. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> this game is amazing. <laughs> this game would be awesome two player. Yes, it would. Yeah, this is actually. I'm impressed. Yeah, this is great. I think like I got this game for like. A buck ninety-five, and this one also says fifty yen on it. So the guy I purchased it from got it for less than fifty cents in Japan. Basically, just like a junk sort of game, but it turned out to be really fun. Go, Mr. T. Go, 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 go. Go, Mr. T. Go. go. Oh, did you see it hit him in his head? That animation where he kind of shook his face. No, I missed that. It Shoot! Was, it was really cool. Get, get it. No. Oh! Mr. T. Mr. T. Mr. T. Mr. T. Hercules. 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 <laughs> This this perfectly re represents like 
the brutality of like you know <laughs> if you go to see like a professional hockey game there's not too much fighting you go and see a semi-pro game like the the vipers back in the day yeah and they just beat the living shit out of each other <laughs> You were like, oh, god damn it. There's a lot of hacky guys. Oh, they're beating what? each other. <laughs> How do you miss that? That was high pitch, man. Yeah, it really that, was. Like, that that is woke staying. up the neighbors. Yeah, yeah, nice. Hit the ice, the video hockey league. What do we think about this one? What do you think here? Well, it's clearly got some ridiculous animations uh, yo, in there. Yeah, and it's yeah. pretty... Pretty fun game, just punch everybody. Yeah, I, for what it is, I, I have to give it like an eight and a half. It was a lot of fun. I wasn't yeah. expecting that at all. Yeah, it was really unexpectedly good with the uh, fighting and everything like that. It was, it was pretty yeah. nice. I mean, Mr. T sucked at the start, but that's because no. we <laughs> didn't know what we were doing with him. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, that, that was an impressive title. I, I, if you have a PC Engine, get hit the ice. Yeah, definitely. I'm excited for the multiplayer <laughs> mode, as a matter of fact. And last up, Operation, Operation Wolf. 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 Operation Wolf. Again, there's another one with two players that we can't play. Two players because we don't have a multi-tap yet, so we'll just have to rock the one-player mode. Okay, so you get to aim at what you want to attack. You don't want to use You gotta take care grenades. of him here, TJ. He, you take head. Him first. You gotta shoot, gotta shoot him, him in the head. The head. Oh! The what are you doing, oh, man? Oh, TJ! <laughs> We're just shooting anything that moves, dude. That's not how this game played. Oh, that really? was... I've never seen such horror. <laughs> you, gotta throw a, you gotta throw a grenade at those ones, man. There you go. In the head, in the head, in the head. There no! we go. Oh, oh, you're you're the nurses again! You don't even care who They're the kill. enemies. No, they're not. They're the enemy nurses. No, they're not, man. Uh-uh. Don't you hear them scream no when you kill them? No. It's because you're heartless. That's right. Those are some big sprites. I like those. <laughs> Yeah. No! <laughs> you did that on purpose to get the last. <laughs> you dead! You're dead. You dead. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> you dead, man. <laughs> what did we do to him? What does that say, TJ? Uh, he came to nothing. He yeah. says, I was going to be preserved, <laughs> but all of the nurses were dead, so I died. <laughs> Kill that guy in the face. There we go. That's it. TJ, TJ. good man. TJ. TJ! No! <laughs> I, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, uh, you did. Oh, uh, you've been shot. Is that what it says? Yes. That's a lot of characters for <laughs> you've been shot. Your history is. Your hit rate is 14%. Mm. You did get 88% of them, though. Impressive. This is a nice little first-person shooter, like arcade shooter sort of thing. What is that? Oh, what are you, doing? you terrible you man! You killed it, trying to kill the pigs. Why did, did you kill that hot girl? bikini chick? She was just there to. Just John, Yo, a man. random jogger <laughs> in the background. This level's so much weirder than the other one. <laughs> oh! 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 She oh. ran into the line of fire. Why there did you was do no that? Hope. Why do you hate women? I got $10,000. What is this, Counter-Strike? So that's the PC Engine. I wouldn't really say that it's a representative sample of the games. It's kind of more of a random sample of its games. It definitely has some solid gems, especially on the CD add-on, but unfortunately, I can't be affording that right now. Mm. What do you think, though, sir? Would you recommend the PC Engine to your average retro gamer? It's more of a niche thing, I kind of okay. get the feeling, but there's a good variety of games, mm -hmm. and if you can get around some of the itty-bitty quirks, there's some fun to be had. Yeah. If you want the full experience, want the CD add-ons, or want the two-in-one units, it's going to be pretty pricey. So I'd say it was more of a collector's uh, item, and there aren't a lot of games that you can't experience similar things on on the Genesis or the SNES, but it does have some gems. Does have some gems worth checking out if you have the money. Yeah, uh, I loved it actually. It was surprisingly good considering that this is what the games look like. Sure. It's so old. Yeah, yeah I, I have to say, uh, luckily the cards do fit into your wallet perfectly. <laughs> 
Although it can't quite close, but yes, I really so enjoyed perfectly. some of these. Like uh, hit the ice and bonk. Mm -hmm. uh, they were they were pretty damn good. Street Fighter was all right for what it was. Mm -hmm. I that was pretty impressed overall. Uh, you know, as we get more games, we'll go ahead and review more and uh, show you guys what the PC Engine has to offer. And I can't wait to try and use these cards at stores yeah. during this Christmas season. Oh, definitely, absolutely, absolutely. Cheers to that. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness, I can't believe I was late on that. Hey guys, thanks for watching the episode. Don't forget to subscribe to us, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. And by special request, Hard for Games t-shirts can now be found on hardforgames.com. And if you guys like our design and animations, don't forget to check out our animator's website, anavisentainer.com. The link is in the description below.